Does intermittent fasting improve metabolic health? My name is Jim O'Connor from Biohacker Bulletin, where we help professionals enhance mental and physical performance, longevity, and overall well-being. So intermittent fasting is a huge topic in the biohacking world. The question is, is there science to support it? And the answer is yes. There's a body of research that does show that not eating for an extended period of time can actually help promote adaptive stress and antioxidant production, DNA repair, autophagy, decreases inflammation, decreases cholesterol, possibly decreases blood pressure, and decreases insulin resistance. On top of all of it, you can also help you lose body fat by restricting calories to some extent. So there is research to show that it works. And what I want to do is explain how to do it in this video as well. So hey, if you like this video, by the way, just click like and also subscribe to Biohacker Bulletin at the end of this video. It's 100% free right now and it'll help change your life. Now there's four ways to intermittent fast. Number one is time-restricted feeding. It's called TRF. And that's where you have like a certain window, such as eight hours in a day, and you eat for those eight hours in a day, and you don't eat any other time throughout the day or evening, just those eight hours. Number two, circadian rhythm fasting. And what you're doing is you're gonna eat during the daytime, such as like 8 a.m. when the sun's out and before the sun sets, let's say at 6 p.m. And that is your window. The rest of the time, you are time-restricted feeding or not eating. That's circadian, circadian rhythm fasting. The third one is alternate day fasting, it's ADF for short. And that is where one day you're going to eat normally and the next day what you're going to do is decrease your calories down to 500 calories or below. Some people don't eat it all for the day and just drink fluids, but I recommend 500 calories around, at least getting some nutrients in. So one day you'll eat normally, the next day you will fast, eat around 500 calories, which will help cut your calories overall. Number four is 5-2 intermittent fasting, 5-2. Five days on, regular eating, and then two days of intermittent fasting where you're eating 500 calories or 600 calories a day. If you're a man, probably 600, a woman, 500. The two days that you're fasting will be 500 calories. So you're gonna cut your calories long term. Now, is this a possible solution for you? All I can say is try it. It's not for everybody, but it may be for you. It may help you. It may help your metabolic health. Like I mentioned earlier, the research has shown that it may work with you and may not. So that is the important message for today. So by the way, don't forget to subscribe to Biohacker Bulletin. Don't miss out because I deliver a weekly information and bite-sized nuggets to help you look better, feel better, and to perform better and enhance your productivity. So go ahead, click the link below and subscribe to Biohacker Bulletin. Thanks so much for watching the video. Take care and have a great day.